Seeing it in this kind of a setting with the snow it just brings back the, the, winter, the winter in Korea. As Lloyd Hinckley and the other veterans walk around the Korean War Memorial, a cold, wet snow covers the concrete and steel structures, making this trip back in time all too realistic. Winter 52, 53 is so cold and uh, just, just living, I mean, you're just trying to stay alive. And, uh, and you're just cold through to the bone, and that's just what it does to me right now. The frigid temperatures don't prevent the veterans from touring their memorial. A South Korean representative is on hand to award special medals as a thank you from their country. <laughs> the veterans spend time looking at the memorial wall, which features 2,400 etched images taken directly from photographs. And at the center of the memorial, 19 stainless steel statues of soldiers trudging through the rough Korean terrain, a distant glaze in their eyes. That's about the way we look, about the way those statues are, you know. That's all, but it's, yeah, it was quite stirring, yeah. Another stop on the D.C. tour is Arlington National Cemetery. A small group of guardians breaks away to go to Section 60, where most of the military killed in Iraq and Afghanistan are laid to rest. 60 is different than anywhere else in Arlington Cemetery. When you go to 60, there's notes, there's pictures. It's more personalized than anywhere else in Arlington because the, because the dirt is fresh. And so are the memories for Bob Allgaier and these guardians, all Gold Star parents. The Gold Star family, you know, it's an organization that nobody wants to join, you know. Gold Star parents have lost a son or daughter on the battlefield or supporting a military operation. Algar walks the rows of grave sites until he finds the one belonging to his son, Chris. He's on a night operations. He's the pilot of a Chinook, uh, which is a transport helicopter, and he just had offloaded about 30 special ops guys and just got back in the air and they I assume it was an AP RPG that hit it, you know. And so it just disintegrated the hel helicopter, you know. Chris is one of more than 300,000 men and women buried at Arlington who died serving their country. Their homecoming ended here, in a sea of white headstones. He wanted to be buried up here, and so this is where he's at, you know. And this is, this is hollow ground up here, you know. It's, it's really special.